This is going to be a model review on the Oshkosh P Series dump trucks or dump truck. Um, to get started out with, these are about everything that comes with it. Um, you got your snow plow, your sword pick, the dump truck, and this little specifications guide, sort of. And the um, hydraulic line hookups, and this, which I'll get to later in the review. Just, uh, I'll start with the plow first. Um, this is a Oshkosh plow. Um, so to speak, but, um, it's made out of plastic right here. This metal or the uh, yellow facing, and it actually has rubber right here where my finger is. Right there, that's rubber. Um, and it actually has a sort of scraping plate right down here, that black line on the bottom. It's sort of like a wear sort of scraping plate sort of thing. It, it, it's metal. And then you get your bottom support, metal. Th this is probably about 90% metal right here, this, except for the front part and... I wouldn't swear them high. Yeah, they got metal in them. So the only thing that's not metal is this, the yellow, the rubber, and the rubber to the wheels. Um, this is sort of an extra wide blade. It goes to more of like a airport uses. So that's why it's so big. Um, here's the back of it. What it looks like. Sort of hard to get the full detail of it. I'll try to just light some. But these wheels, they spin 360. They do roll, such as. And you can pull them out and push them back in, like that. <coughs> and it adjusts to the surface of the road, or the surface that you were going on. Same with the other wheel. It has two wheels. Or four wheels all together, but two sort of main wheels. Um, it articulates such as so. These right here are hydraulic lines that can hook up to the truck, but it's very difficult. The, you hook these up with these little I don't know what you call them, so they're like connectors of hydraulic lines, I guess. But uh, they're really hard to get together. I tried once. Uh, I got them together, but it only took me 30 minutes. But <coughs> um, I, I, I don't hook them up. But uh, then on the bottom, you have these little stands. They go in and out. You say, uh, you say slide in and out like that. It, it just sort of keeps it off the ground or whatever. Or on the real machine, you'd be able to adjust, and the real blade, you'd be able to adjust it and keep it off the road or how much. But on this, it just sort of slides up and down. And then right there, it's sort of hard to see. My camera won't focus. I want to see if I can get it to focus. No. Anyways, it just has a little warning label. I can't even read it, it's so printed, so small. Right there, you got the hydraulic right there, and right there, that turns the hydraulic blade. i show you what it looks like on the Oshkosh 2 axle. If I didn't mention, I don't know if I did, that this is a 2 axle, not the 3 axle version, which is significantly bigger, but um, this Hold on, let me get me There we go. That's what it looks like from the front view. As so. It's pretty wide blade, I think. But it, it's alright. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the blade. Cause, just because where I live at, they got small blades, not giant blades like this. But, um. It does. It'll turn like that. As far as it can go that way. 
and that way that's as far as it'll go. They don't go up at all, hardly at all, as you can tell. That's about it. Huh. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Not very high, which I'm sort of disappointed in. But, um, I'll show you the hydraulic on the book. I don't know if you'll be able to see this at all, but... No, you can't. But anyways, there's a little hydraulic in there that just lifts it up and down. Not, not, not a fan of it. Of how big or how, or I mean how tall it don't go up. But, um, what you, I'll try to zoom in here. Show you how it hooks up, if my camera will focus. I think it may have focused. Not positive. No. Let me just zoom out. Right there. Alright. Now this, right here, this hydraulic line, there's these rubber adapters on the little silver hookups I showed you earlier. And that's what it will look like. Now what you have to do, there's four lines coming out of that, and then there's four lines coming out of the dump truck. You gotta, and you ain't gotta hook them up, but you hook them up, and as I said, these are extremely hard. I can't do it right now, but anyways, it just hooks up like so, and if you do it right, it should stick out something like that. Like sort of square out. But, and I, I mean, if, if, if you're a true collector and you're going to sit there and um, just leave it on the shelf, I, I, I would do it. But if you're going to sit there and play with it and, or use it in a stop motion or something, I, I, I wouldn't suggest putting these on. They're just a pain in the neck. But, um, that's pretty much the blade. It, 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 it's alright. It's really good detail, but other than that, it's not really my favorite. But, um, onto the dump truck. Um, these are custom decals right there, and on, they're on each side and on the back. They do not come with the model. I put them there myself. But, um, this is the front view of the model. I'll try to show. That's what the snowball hooks into right there. But, um, this is the front view of the model right here. Right here you got your radiator yard, or drill. It, it shows, it has these little, like, handles on each side. But it, it sort of acts like you could be able to take it off, but it don't. That's one thing about it. These mirrors, I'm not a big fan. I'm just probably going to glue mine on. But, um... And then right here and right there, you got your lights. Like so, and then you got your Oshkosh. Oh. Right there, right there, where that silver thing is, right there on the black. That says Oshkosh. It's just because my camera won't focus. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my camera to focus, but it just ain't cooperating. These both sides will pick up. To be able to, it reveals the engine compartment, and it looks like that. I'm not sure how good this will focus, but I'll, come on, let me try to get far. I ain't got one, but anyways, inside it you got. It's not crazy detail. There's nothing really anything about it. I, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's all right. <sighs> on on with it. On with it. You got the sort of little windshield in the front, which I I, I like the design of it a lot. I don't know. I just took sort of fan of it. But this mirror, it comes off. And I'll give you the mirror real quick. If you guys want to see it, I'm not sure how good this will focus, but I'll try. Alright, this is what the mirror looks like. There's the mirror rack. 
you got a mirror on each side you can sort of see and then you got this beacon on top the beacon is glued on I, I'm not sure if when they glue it on they got a factory person or someone at the factory that puts it on or a machine that glues it but mine is tilted front sort of as you can tell sort of a little bit I kind of zoom in well, you can't really tell. But it's tilted for some. I'm afraid... I, I want to rip it off and then glue it back on as it should. But I don't, I, I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up more. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. But, um... In the inside of the cab... you got to use a pick to get it open. Which these picks are horrible. I'm, I, I use mine for little stuff. Here we go again. I'm gonna see if, if this light gets more inside, but I'm trying to do the best I can to get this. My camera's not cooperating with me. But anyways, right there's your passenger seat, and then in the front dash, you, it's just gray with sort of not much to see in there. I mean, it, it's just steering wheel and a dash and two seats. But, and then you got the top of it, with, it just comes with two lights on the top, or not, not lights, I'm sorry, um, horns, and it comes with an antenna, which is really nice, it's, it's metal, so you gotta watch out for that, and then you got your lights right there, which you can't really see when the, uh, window rack goes over it. And you get a windshield wiper on the door. It don't move at all. It just sits there. It's metal. Which, this model is about completely metal. But, oh, this ain't gonna work. This is, uh, I love this model. A lot of people don't know this. But the seat, if you push down on it, it has a spring on it. Which is very, very nice. And it makes it uh, be able to have like air ride you can't act I'm sorry but if you do have this model and you press down on the driver's seat I'm not sure about the passenger I haven't tried it but the driver's seat seat you can like it acts like as air ride which is very very nice and then you got your a warning label I'm sorry if I'm annoying you with the focus but I just bring it to the camera. You got a warning label right there, right there, and then right there. They're very, very small. And then you got this handle right there. It's metal. And then right here, you got your step up ladder. See what I mean about this? Uh, I might just glue mine on. Step up ladder right here. And then, I'm sorry, you can't see that, but it's because we're the light. And you got your fuel tank right here, mud flaps, your tire, and the tire, it up, or the wheels, as you can see, you can turn it like that, like that, we just have them straight. I mean, it's an all wheel sort of steering, which is very, very nice. I like it. On the back, Mud flaps. It says Oshkosh Trucks. And it has Oshkosh logo, sort of. Um, this piece right there, it is custom. It, it is not anything that comes with it. It, it, it. That, that's where my first gear tag trailer can hook up to. But um, if right above it, it got this little hitch very 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 small and I was messing with it and it closes so you said and it opens back up wow. but the thing is it's too small it's too high for a tag trailer to fit in it so I just cut me a little piece of plastic and I mounted it right there and on the back you got your two rear backup lights 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting in a chair and not cooperating either. Not much stuff, please. But anyways, on a regular truck, you would have little hooks. And right there, it's, you, you can't see it at all, but right there and right there, there's two hooks where you can attach chains to, which is very, very nice. Moving on to the back, this is the tailgate part of it, uh, and again, this logo does not come with it. I put this on there myself. But, um, the, you got these little chains, which is very realistic, I think, because on, I, I've never seen an Oshkosh dump truck before, but they're, they're, they're pretty nice, I, I would have to say. They, they, they add more detail to it, but, but, but they do get annoying, but they, they're, they're fine. I, it, I'm not here to here to criticize it, but uh, and then you got this little door, sort of. Or not? I mean, it's sort of like a smaller dump. I, I call it an asphalt gate because it, you like dump it right there. You fill the pothole in, and it just you let it go. But you you can call it whatever. And you got your. I'm using my pick to point them out better. Right there. And right there would be lights, but they're just stickers. That's all it is. On both sides, you got these little holes. I'm, I'm not sure what you call them. They're right there and right there. <coughs> but they look like you could like put something in, but I, I'm not a truck expert, so I wouldn't know what to tell you. It's right there and right there on this side. Um... The tailgate opens to that. This is the part I'm not a big fan of. Each time you shut the door, there's these little C little thingies that come down, and you you have you almost gotta hold it up like this to get the tailgate to go back in, because you got these little little things that sit on top of it, or it come down once you open it. It locks the gate in really good, but Oh mm, man. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it so bad that it makes it not really funny. But anyways Yeah, it's I I mean, you see me right now, I'm having a problem with it just getting it shut. That is a major downfall of this truck. Now if they didn't have that or if they didn't if you did ha didn't have that and it just sort of clamped on real good, it'd be a fantastic. That This is the thing I hate about it most, is the tailgate. When I was sitting here playing with it for the first time I got it, I, I couldn't figure out how to get it locked back. But anyways, I couldn't get that locked back. You gotta play with it for about five minutes. It's a pain in the butt. But um, this would be the part one. And I'll put part two up, so watch part two.